Hi all, Andy here again. So in this video I'm just going to show you how I daisy chain a CKI control rope. So for those not familiar with daisy chaining, it's often used in rock climbing and other related activities where you want to reduce the effective um, length of a rope, either for storage or while it's in use. So in this case I'm going to show you how I apply it to this tow rope. Now I use a wetman equipment uh, tow rope which is an excellent piece of kit, I would recommend checking it out. Um, it's 14 metres of length. So if you are paddling in rough conditions you know, with big swells or big breakers, you do need to have a good long tow rope. Um, I'd say a minimum of 10 metres, but this is 14 metres, so it's a good length overall. But when you're practicing in camera conditions, a 14 metre rope can be a little bit of a pain to deploy and then have to repack multiple times. So by using daisy chaining, you can effectively reduce that length, but still deploy it to full length when you do need it. So I'm just going to show you exactly how I do it. So we're going to start off on the carbiner end, so this is the end that we attach to the person we're rescuing. And we start off by creating a starter loop, so to do that I create a little loop like this. I put a bite on the main line, pull it through that little loop to create a new loop, and then just tighten it up. And that is known as a trucker stitch, also called a slip knot I believe. I'll show you one more time, so I twist it to create a little loop. I take a bite of the standing line, put it through that loop to create a new loop, and then just tighten it up. And that's our starter loop. Okay, so I put my hand through that starter loop and then I just grab the main line like this and I pull it through to create a new loop and then I put my hand through that new loop I grab the standing line again and pull it through to create a new loop put my hand through that new loop grab the stand standard line again and pull it through and I'll just keep repeating that process over and over I put my hand through the loop grab the standing line and pull it through to create a new loop and as you can see, when you get a little bit of practice at it, it is a pretty quick way to create a daisy chain. So already I have created a daisy chain of probably about a meter, using about two meters of rope overall, so it has reduced that length. If you do want to deploy it, because we've created loops inside of loops, it'll just unravel really, really easy, as you can see. It's very simple, okay? So we'll just continue to do this process. I'm just keen for you to see how long it takes to do 40 meters. When you get going at it, it's pretty quick. I'm repeating the same process over and over. I put my hand through the loop, grabbing the standing line and putting it through to create a new loop. Again, my hand goes through that new loop and pulling through the standing line each time. I do find at times that the rope on my right hand side starts to, to kind of wind up myself a little bit. It can be a little bit of a pain to deal with, but you just keep working your way along the, the rope. So we get about halfway here. I'm just going to show you a way that you can kind of neaten that up a little bit. So with this latest loop I've created, what I can do is I can grab the daisy chain and just pull it tight. And then I can pull on the standing line just to close that loop a little bit. Okay, I'll show you that again. So I'm going to bring the next one through. I'm going to pull on the daisy chain to tighten it up and then close that loop a little bit. And you can repeat that process over and over. And that will create a much neater daisy chain for you. Again, I'll get a little bit of length here and be able to show you the difference between the loose version and the, uh, the tighter version. You can then decide for yourself which you prefer. Personally, I don't think there's much difference in terms of actual deployment, uh, but you may find one a little bit easier to pack away. So again, just get a little bit of length here and you can uh, better compare the two. As you can see, it's pretty quick to create a daisy chain overall. Just with a little bit of practice, you can get used to doing it. So the rope twisting on itself can become a little bit of a pain. If you have any solutions for that, I'd appreciate some feedback. So at this point I'll just show you the difference. So we started off with a fairly loose daisy chain as you can see. It's nice to relax and that will deploy very, very easy. And as we get into the neater one, you can then see the difference, how much neater that is. It's probably a little bit easier to pack away, uh, but when it comes to deployment, even the tight one will deploy very, very easy once there's a load on it, as you can see. All right. Now to finish off the rope, I'm just going to go relatively loose here, so you can see how long it takes. And I said overall, even for 40 meters, it doesn't take particularly long to tie up the rope. It's pretty quick overall. So as we approach the end, we're left with a little bit of a dilemma. How do we secure this last loop onto the... Uh, onto the tow line and I'm just going to show you here. So this is my last loop here. Now normally if this was an open-ended rope 
so you can put the open end through that loop and secure it that way. But in this case, what I decide to do, because of this particular rope has a, a nice ring, I take a carbiner, I can attach it to that ring, and attach it to that last loop. And once that load comes on, as you can see, it holds really well. Now I'm using a screw gate carbiner here. I would recommend an auto lock. You can use a snap gate. I hate them personally, I don't use them. Um, so I use uh, typically an auto lock, but this is a screw gate, as I said. And when you want to deploy that, all you literally need to do is open your carbiner, release that loop, and it'll deploy. It's as simple as that. Okay, so that's how I do it. Um, I would certainly welcome your feedback in the comments section. Feel free to give me any hints or tips that you may have, or if you're an alternative method, I'd love to hear it. Um, if you got anything from that video, if you enjoyed it and learned from it, I would appreciate it if you should subscribe and maybe like and share. Thanks very much.